We know that Josh Allen will be in Buffalo giddy up, giddy up, giddy for up. many, many Blue. years wow. to yeah. come. Yeehaw. Here he is. Number two, on the horse. That is, that is a high degree of difficulty. Throwing the ball. It's one thing to have a moving target. It's another thing to be on a horse that's moving while you're also trying to get to the moving target. But Allen made that step, that leap last year. Dramatic improvement. Stunning improvement. Becoming the guy the Bills hoped he would be. Nobody knows what a guy is going to be when they make him a top 10 pick. Last year, Allen became that guy. What was the biggest difference you saw in Josh Allen from 2019 to 2020? Well, Decision-making. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, always been the talk about accuracy, and it's like, no, he's always been able to hit the bullseye. It's just sometimes he tries to hit the bullseye, you know, in between four defenders there with, like, their hands there, and that, that's what we were trying to, like, wash out of his football game to a degree. So I think that's the biggest difference in what we saw, you know, as far as Josh Allen next-level stuff. Also, they went all in on him, too with getting Stephon Diggs and also opening up the offense, like the things we've talked about that maybe Rodgers and Russell Wilson haven't had, you know, they went to the chips to the middle of the table. McDermott deserves a lot of credit. Defensive coach who finally just went, what? Go, this guy's a stud. Like, let him go. Let him fly. You know, is his decision-making and Zen master stuff of, of Aaron Rodgers quality yet? No, it's not, but it's not far behind. The decision-making special. He knows everything that's going on on the field. It's still really good. And then to me, where he got the advantage over Rodgers, you know, is, is again, it's, it's what he makes happen when the normal play is not there. And Josh Allen, you know, you could, you could argue no team's success as a full team was predicated more on one player than Josh Allen. I mean, it really wasn't. His skill set is unbelievable, you know, his first off beating the blitz doing anything like that like mike he's he's next level like here mike he knows he's hot here but he goes ah eh, wait i can make this guy miss and get a bigger completion down the field screw the four yard completion i'm gonna get a 20 yard completion you know here manipulating the coverage looking to the left knowing he's got digs to the right right this is rogers type stuff he's really really good at it and then boom like an effortless, flat-footed, 40-yard throw. Like, are you kidding me? And then the scrambling. You know, he is, him and Mahomes are the best scramblers in the NFL. The best scramblers. And when I say scrambling, I mean behind the line of scrimmage, buying time, making things happen. Here's another news flash for you. Other than Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray, Josh Allen's the, the best running quarterback in football, too. He's one of the three best running quarterbacks in the sport. He's a real threat down in the red zone, wherever. And then, like this, third and 22? Like, are you kidding me? Like, just sit there, laser down the middle. I mean, it just doesn't matter. There's so many incredible plays always. You know, every game you look at, it's phenomenal. And to me, that's where I started to give him the edge over Rodgers to go, wait, he takes what's there within the normal rhythm of the offense. But if nothing's not there... I mean, this is what happens. Oh, nothing was there. Oh, and no big deal. 40-yard laser on the run. And then here's the running aspect. I mean, it's a guy that's, you know, you have to defend it, which allows him to throw that ball to Knox there. But you have to worry about that aspect of his game. Oh, here's this. I mean, this is Mahomes stuff. Fade away. Drop it in the perfect spot. Touchdown. Josh Allen, you know, when you really break it down, and then, again, I'm not a stat guy, and you look at the stats, it's it's amazing. Uh, people got to stop being, hey, it's 2021. Josh Allen's a superstar. Stop being a hater, everybody. He's here to stay. He's a phenomenal talent. Do you remember when we first realized yeah. that this guy is an uncanny runner? Do you remember when that was? Well, like two years ago, that right or when he first eh. there was three years ago was that when he you know he had September that... 23 2018 the Bills were 17 point underdogs at Minnesota oh Week you're right Vikings, leaping over the your Packers guys. at Lambeau Field yeah jumping over Anthony Barr diving into the end zone we were like holy crap what what is this what what is what is this hell that's about to be unleashed on the NFL? No one knew. No. no one knew that he could do it. There was so much criticism of his accuracy, and yeah, he's got a deep ball, but you know, it, it, it sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't. All the stuff of the Wyoming, and it, it, 
the, the guy is phenomenal running the football. And the Bills w- – in 2019 was when we kind of spotted maybe they're being careful about it. They don't want to expose him to injury. They're very selective in when they design it. But when he needs to do it, when he has to do it, when he chooses to do it, it really is special. And it adds an element to the game. It's, it's, it's a twist on what we talked about with Kyler Murray. You got to be concerned about it. You got to be aware of it. And the awareness of it, the allowance you have for it, puts more stress on your ability to cover the receivers. Because if you completely blanket the receivers – then he's got an opening for 40 yards to the end zone. Definitely. He can run that way. And like Mahomes, this is where I love him, or Rodgers of, you know, years past, when he does break the pocket, he doesn't look to run first. He wants to break the pocket and manipulate coverage and throw a 40 or 50-yard laser. But then when he goes, wait, you guys aren't going to bend, you're going to stay way back there? Okay, I'll run. And that, to me, is the way you play football right now at the quarterback position in 2021. That's why they're they're almost – you know, indefensible unless they're playing a team that just, you know, got their number or they're completely outmatched that day. And you're running. You're right. It was 2018. And to add to that, you know, he had two games in a row where he rushed for 100 yards. And then the third game, he rushed for 99 yards. He would have been the first quarterback ever at that time to run for 100 yards three weeks in a row. The first one ever. You know, his running is a real threat. You know, scrambling is a real threat. You know, even for the gunslinger that he is, no, you know, here's another stat for you. This is where nobody's had more rushing touchdowns since 2018 since Josh, than Josh Allen. In the red zone, gunslinger, right? He's reckless. 42 touchdown passes, zero interceptions in his career in the red zone. 42 to zero. That's like insane stuff right there. So that's where, like, we got to get over some of these narratives and everything like that. Uh, I mean, he went through, like, you know, unbelievable amount of time this year of attempts without interceptions. I mean, so all these narratives were busted last year. He is a superstar. He could have been the MVP of football last year. You could have made that case. You know, again, 40 touchdown passers, 37 touchdown passes. He ran for another nine or eight, everything like that. Their defense was just a middle-of-the-road defense. They didn't have a running game. I mean, Josh Allen, uh, for my money, yes, is without a doubt one of the two best quarterbacks in the game right now. I'm sitting here trying to think of what it's going to take to get more people to buy into that. I know. And I I see two things. Very simple. Very simple. One, when you get your opportunity on a big regular season stage, you got to show up. Yes. Because last year, remember that game against the Chiefs? Yes. Didn't show up. Right. You You got to seize the moment at night when everyone's watching. And... In the postseason, you got to bring it, and you got to you got to take down the big dogs. And, you know, the game against the Ravens was not. It was. It, 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 I know, you know but it see, wasn't. I know it wasn't. It beautiful. was windy that night, but I'm. Yeah. Right. 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 But I'm saying it, the planets have to line up for Josh Allen, so everyone can You're see. Right. You're right. What you see on film. And what pockets of the country see at 1 p.m. Eastern on a Sunday. Yeah. Just like this year, first game of the season against the Steelers. It's going to be 1 o'clock Eastern on a Sunday when everything else is going on. He may have an incredible game, shred that defense. It's not going to be as appreciated as it would have been if it happens on Sunday night, Monday night. They they did take down the Steelers late in the year on Sunday night. But I'm talking about when you come up against Chiefs, Ravens, big spot. That's those are the moments when people are buzzing the next day. Yeah. And they're like, wow, we, we really have to take this guy seriously as one of the best quarterbacks in football. No, no, I, I hear you. I do. I think he needs a few more of those moments to kind of like, you know, hammer it home and staple it down for the rest of, you know, yeah, the 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 not the casual football viewer or anything like that. You're right. But yet still in that, though. He doesn't get a credit like he should for beating Pittsburgh in a Sunday night football game or, you know, the magic he pulled off against San Francisco in a Monday night football game where he made plays that made Kyle Shanahan go, I want to draft Trey Lance because I'm sick of these pocket quarterbacks. I can't stop this guy. Right. I mean, also, he's not given the credit like in a wild card game against the Colts where I go. Somebody go back and watch the TV version of that game. The Bills were outplayed. They had no business winning the game. They only won the game because of the quarterback. They got dominated in the first half, and it was close at halftime only because of 17. And you're right. We need to see – they need to see more of that. But also, people got to give them credit for what's being done here too. And it's 70% completion percentage. 
you know, high 4,000s in yards passing. The game was put on his shoulders. And, Mike, there was a the turning point where I went, whoa, they trust him. It was week two last year. They're playing the Miami Dolphins. And I, I still thought, like you were talking about a minute ago, 2019, we're going to manage him a little bit. Here's the game. They're down 2017. He started out hot. And you're going, all right, now they're going to go back and to run the ball, play defense, Sean McDermott. They come out first and 10, down three. Woo, yeah, let's throw a go route. Here's the next throw, Beasley over the middle. Boom, on the money, second and 24, 24-yard gain. Okay, third and goal. Hey, you know the guy. It's magic time. I mean, this is it's he's as good as anybody in the sport, not named Patrick Mahomes, at doing that type of stuff. So I went, oh, okay. But now it's 24-20, and I'm going, well, surely they'll run the clock out here. And this is when I went, whoa, they trust Josh Allen. Like, they're going all in. First off, that throw was insanity in the membranity. But then third and nine, up four, defense ahead coach? What? Throw the 50-yard post route? Like, that. that's when I went, all right, something happened this offseason where – they just, they realize Josh Allen gets it. He knows how to play the game. He's making all the right reads and all of that type of stuff. And from that point on, I think we were all amazed what we saw. This year for Josh Allen, here are the key games to watch yeah. pre postseason because surely the Bills will get one of the seven spots in the AFC. Week five, Sunday night football at the Kansas City Chiefs. That is an early opportunity to put everyone on notice that the Bills are ready to go next level. Week six, Monday night football at the Tennessee Titans. Another opportunity. And then weeks 12, 13, 14 at the Saints on a Thursday night, at the Patriots on a Monday night, and then that late afternoon, big spot, 425 p.m. Eastern game at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers yeah. against Tom Brady. Those five games... You show up in those five games. You show up in four of those five games, and you put on the kind of show that we've seen elsewhere. And it's good. I think that, that that there just will be a greater appreciation of Josh Allen. Hopefully. And if the Bills win and win and win, that's one way to get in the MVP conversation. But I think he should be back in it this year. The Bills should be as good as they, as they were last year, if not better, assuming that the vaccine issue doesn't create a schism in the locker room as it already kind of has. Yeah. But they stay on the same page. They find a way to nudge to the next level, and Josh Allen finds a way to to do what he – just if he does what he did last year. Yeah. He doesn't have to be better than last year. Just do what you did last year and show up in those big games and have big moments and take down Patrick Mahomes. That's when people, I think, are going to appreciate. They're going to they're gonna warm to the idea that, that this guy is a top-two quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I, – I think I hope so. I really do. You know, now, again – Buffalo needs to be better, too. That was They put a lot on Josh Allen last year. Defense was middle of the road, no run game. You know, so hopefully they can be better as a football team, too, because it, it's hard to survive with just going, wait, we're just going to shotgun, go all in on one guy all the time. It's not easy. It's not. And as good as they are, and they have good weapons on offense, they don't have Tyree Kill and Kelsey in that group yet. They're not there to that level. But last thing I'll say here, and just to go, like, a little big picture here to what you're saying and piggyback off that. Remember, the Chiefs and Bills, when they were getting ready to play each other in the AFC Championship game, this, I think, will show you just a little bit of the respect the players have already and I think coaches around the NFL for Josh Allen. Chris Jones made a comment, if you remember, leading up to the game, he went, they remind me of us a few years ago with this quarterback who makes these unbelievable plays. He was saying, he remind, they remind me of Patrick Mahomes and our team two, three years ago where they were kind of just jumping on the scene with this amazing quarterback play. So that kind of tells you, you know, what the guys that are defending him think of him, where they just go, holy crap, when you turn on the film, it's just one phenomenal play after another. And I think he's got the respect of his peers and the coaches in the NFL right now. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.